Today we'll look at a problem involving friction coefficients. It states, you drag a block horizontally with a force of 100 newtons. The block has a mass of 20 kilograms, and the resulting acceleration is 1 meter per second squared. What is the coefficient of friction between the block and the ground? So let's start by drawing our free body diagram. Here's our block on the ground. And the force is acting on the block. We have our drag force, which we said was horizontal. We have the force of friction on the block. We have the gravitational force between the block and the earth. And we have the normal force between the surface and the block acting straight up. Let's pick some directions. I'm going to call up the positive y direction and to the right the positive x direction. At this point, I can write my Newton's second law equations for this situation. So the sum of forces in the x direction are going to be just my applied force minus the frictional force, and that equals 1 times a. And in the y direction, we can say that the normal force minus the gravitational force in this case will equal zero because I set up my coordinate system where all of my motion, in this case the acceleration, is in the x direction. So there is no acceleration in the y direction. Now, this seems very similar to the simple problem we did before when we dragged an object with friction, but now we don't know what the friction is. We have to use the friction coefficient. So again, we always, so we have our, our Newton's two law equations. We also have a couple other tools or equations we can use to help us solve force problems. We have the gravitational equation, or the local gravitational equation, which is F equals mg, F g equals mg. We also have the friction equation. Our model of friction states that the force of friction between two surfaces is equal to the coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force between the two surfaces. So this equation here, this is where we get our coefficient of friction into our problem. In this case, we're going to have to substitute this equation into one of our Newton's second law equations when I'm solving this. Let's first by, um, let's find out the gravitational force here. It says the block has a 20 kilogram mass times our, we'll assume we're on Earth again, with a g of 10 newtons per kilogram. That gives this object a weight of 200 newtons. And now in this case, the first step I would take would be to go to the y direction and that allow us to find the normal force. So if I plug, I go to my y equation, it just tells me the normal force equals the gravitational force, which I just found out to be 200 newton. Now at this point, I can go to my x direction, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to substitute some stuff in. My x direction says that my applied force, which I know is 100 newtons, I should just have substituting the variables and we'll put some numbers into it. So my applied force minus my friction force. And now for the friction force, I'm going to use my friction equation out here. So my applied force minus mu times my normal force is going to equal m times a. So I just substitute in the uh, full definition of friction for the friction force in my Newton's second law equation in the x direction. And now I can Substitute some numbers. I think I know enough to test and check really quick. We know enough to solve this. We have the applied force. We're looking for the coefficient of friction. We found the normal force with our y direction equation. We're given the mass. We're given the acceleration. We know enough to solve this. So let's go ahead and do that. So my applied force was again um, 100 newtons. So we have 100 newtons minus something times 200 newtons equals. 20 times 1. Um, bringing things to the other side and solving for mu, we get mu is going to equal to let's see, 200 or 100 minus 20 over 200, which is 80 over 200. So mu is equal to 0 0.4. So again, these aren't that much harder than the regular problems. 
It's just that we have to, at one point, you substitute in the value for the friction, or the equation for the friction force into, in this case, into our x equation. So we can solve for the coefficient of friction. Another problem is you might be given the coefficient of friction. Well, you can then do the same thing. You could find the normal force from the y direction, Newton's second law equation. Use that normal force with the coefficient of friction to find the friction force, and then put that value of the friction force into your x direction. You know, whenever you have a coefficient of friction, all you're really doing is you're given a new tool, you're given this friction equation to help you solve the problems.